Hit shred on. Oh. After that, we better sing the word wrong. <laughs> May I just state that about 52.3% of that was true. <laughs> but it makes a great, great story. And it is true. This is an excellent question. Tom, in that movie, played not a villain. He played a good guy. But, but chronologically, the next... How many movies? The next X number of movies. Tom very, very often played the part of a villain. And there are two stories that I'm going to tell you just quickly. <laughs> one of them is that is that Tom's son Jamie, who shrieked at the um, at some point in the next years, is quoted as having said to his father, "Daddy." Why are you always being killed in the movies? <laughs> I mean, like Tom got dropped out of airplanes and shot and all that. But one of my one of one of my own personal favorite moments with Tom was after he had he had played in a in a, in a film where he had abused in a certain fashion the heroine. Mm -hmm. And we were driving Tom and I in a taxi in Delhi with this old Sikh taxi driver. And, and we were driving, and like, he kept looking back. He kept looking back at Tom. And all of a sudden, he pulled the taxi over. And he turned around, and he gave Tom such a dressing down. He said, you will never do that to Indian women again. <laughs> Is that 50? You're heading down to the low 40s. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd like to know who got to smoke the choras. <laughs> we were the goodies trying to stop them from smoking the choras. Uh, Can I just make a just brief statement? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to set the record straight. <laughs> Thank you. 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 5% of the films I've played are playing English Batman. I want to make this very clear to the entire Woodstock community <laughs> because I'm tired. I have not played the baddie in thousands and thousands of films. Out of my first 50 films, I think I played the baddie in two. So I have to set the record straight, ma'am, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the percentage is somewhere around 5%. 3.3. 3. <laughs> yeah, you're my man, you're my man. But quickly, I'll Yes, sir. Do you find it more comfortable traveling in the U.S. than you would <laughs> Well, you know, even in U.S.A., can I tell one last story? <laughs> Pennsylvania Turnpike, 1999. Driving back with my in-laws from some uh, anybody here from the Christian Missionary Alliance mission? No, okay. Quite a uh, conservative to say the least. So we're coming back from Mahaffey Camp, which is a summer camp for the... And 1999 along the Pennsylvania Highway, my father-in-law is not well, a storm is coming up. We say, let's stop in a motel. Now, who runs motels in India? <laughs> At that time, there was a TV serial of mine running, which was extremely popular, called Junoon, in which I did play a baddie, but very much a Hindustani baddie. He was quite something. So we stop at this uh, motel, like Grand Way Inn or something like that. And you know, these little round windows are there, like, like you have in bars and things. And it was 11.30 at night, storm, and I knocked on the door. I didn't even say anything. I was just standing there. Old Gujarati lady comes. Korn che, korn che, bolo korn che, and she looked through like that window right there. And she saw me, I don't know what she saw of me, and she shrieked. In that serial, I was called Keshav Kalsi. <coughs> and she said, Keshav Kalsi, ave che, Keshav Kalsi. This is on the Pennsylvania Turnpike at 11 30 at night. <laughs> She didn't open the door, she ran inside. <laughs> all the family was having dhokla and I don't know what. They come running, all the uncles and aunts. Oh, Keshav, not Tom, Keshav, Kansi, Abhi, Che, they opened the door and we went. Now, 
My mother-in-law had passed away, so I had a stepmother-in-law who had never been to India in her life, and she was already tired. And suddenly we went into this motel, there were about 15 Gujaratis, and my in-laws had lived in Gujarat, so my father-in-law knew Gujarati, and this started at 11.30 at night. Then they called 15 miles down the highway to the, this is roadway in, that was gateway in. Oh, Tom Oter Aave Che, Jaldi Se Aao, Tom Oter Aave Che. And they're feeding us doklas and pokras. We just wanted to go to sleep. Another 20 Gujaratis came. Now it's midnight. And my father-in-law is very happy talking to me in Gujarati, trying to convert all these Japs. <laughs> Finally, we said it's the time to go to bed. So that main fellow, Mr. Shah, he said, Tom Alter, sir, I'm your biggest fan, biggest fan. And I'm going to give you a bargain, good bargain deal on the rooms. We needed two rooms. So the, it was $55 a night, okay? This room and one for Carolyn, myself, and one for Evans's. Mr. Don't worry, Mr. Tom, I'm your biggest fan. You are fantastic, most best actor of all of India. So we went, instead of $55, I'm going to charge you $52.50. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fact. <laughs> then that nani, the one who had seen me at that little window, she was the only genuine person. She said, Tommy Baba, I'm chai langi aapki this. We bring tea for you in the morning. So we came, we had tea, we had to leave early, and they wouldn't let us go. And I couldn't figure out, and slowly the sun started coming up. They wanted a photograph of me in front of that roadway in sign. And they didn't want us to leave before the sun came up. So they kept, kept giving us tea and samosas and samosas. <laughs> and finally, somewhere on that roadway in and uh, the Pennsylvania Turnpike, there's a photograph of all of us. And meanwhile, my poor recent mother-in-law, step-mother-in-law, she was totally bewildered as to why. The, but I'm this again, this is the intensity that Nani, 85-year-old Gujarati Nani, looked through a window like that in the pitch dark. Now what she saw, I mean, I have no clue. But just seeing the outline, she knew it was Keshav Kalsi from Junoon. This is the amazing passion with which cinema and, and television is not only watched, but I'm, yes, this, I got the hint. <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs>